you have to become less human in order to even understand what it means to be human. Nobody gets what it means to be human. In fact, when you get it, the term human no longer applies. You're just consciousness, you're a being, you're an individuated expression of consciousness. Human, not human, sheep, non-sheep, alien, non-alien, it's all the same. Different forms of expression, but you know that you're consciousness with a frequency, period. Change your frequency, you feel different, you attract different circumstances, you learn at an accelerated passion, fashion, you know that you are in control of your reality, you feel free, you feel happy, you feel good, you feel grounded, do you feel human? Absolutely not. You don't. If you feel human, something is a little off. You're taking on something that humans made up. That's what it means to be human. Since there is no such thing as the human being, then if you do feel like a human, it simply means you're believing in something that other human beings also heard from other sheep-like human beings, and then everyone keeps repeating themselves. And what does it sound like? Thank you. Oh, hey, I can sing a little differently. Look, I'm being authentically human. You said, meh, but I can say, meh. And that's what we find joy in. That's what we think is authenticity. Authenticity comes from absolute certainty, clarity, freedom, joy, passion, excitement. In that state, you don't feel human. You also don't feel non-human per se, unless you bring in the story of your previous self. Then in relationship to the story of your previous self, you could say and deduce, oh, I feel less human. But what did it even mean to be human in the first place? It doesn't really exist. So consciousness is consciousness. Humanity does not exist. Human beings don't exist. You're not a human. You've never been human. You've only ever been consciousness. Can you argue that? Are you conscious of what I'm saying right now? Or are you human being of what I'm saying right now? <laughs> You're conscious of what I'm saying right now. That's the only thing you can prove. Do you feel a certain way? I'm assuming that you do. So your consciousness with a feeling state. And that's all you ever experience. Even when you seem to experience circumstances, all you ever experience is to whatever extent your point of view of the empty smoke and mirror circumstance, reflection of your consciousness, is either in or out of alignment. The further out of alignment that perspective is from the vibrational truth of consciousness, the worse you'll feel. Do you feel the circumstance? No, you've never felt the circumstance. You've only ever felt how you thought about it and whether or not your higher self disagrees with that or agreed with it. You are consciousness. You are a vibrational expression of this consciousness. And that's about it. You've never been human. You'll never be human. You'll never be beyond human. You've never been human doesn't exist. So be happy. Happiness takes you beyond the realm of thinking that you are human. And it shows you that you are consciousness. It shows you that you are clarity. Again, does that mean you become inhuman? No, obviously not, unless you want to sacrifice your integrity to the fact that everything is one being and that everyone can have exactly what they desire without having to deprive you of what you desire. And you can have exactly what you desire without having to deprive any other portion of yourself of what they desire. It can all coexist. You take responsibility of your vibrational state of being. And you know, you have faith, you have confidence that that is how you generate your reality. You don't generate your reality by going out into the circumstances and thinking about the circumstances or doing something with the circumstances. It doesn't really exist. I know that's hard to grasp, but the higher you go into the direction of being consciousness and being vibrational, you will start to actually experience that this is empty. Everything is energetic reflections of consciousness, of your vibration, and to what extent that's in alignment with another level of your consciousness. Just because we make the distinction between lower self and higher self doesn't mean you are not that one same consciousness. It's just different levels of vibratory understanding or self-reflection within that same overall consciousness that you are. So all that's ever going on is that you are consciousness, that you choose your vibratory state, and that based on your vibratory state, whatever that looks like, beliefs, thoughts, circumstances, you are in communication with yourself within yourself with your consciousness, within your consciousness. You can never leave that. So whenever you feel something, it's a letting you know how in or out of alignment you are. So that's all that's happening. Consciousness, vibration, and guidance. That's all that's ever happening. So the sooner you understand that, the sooner you can let go of the physical, overly physical focus. There's nothing wrong with the physical focus because it's why you're here to an extent, to bring your non-physical self into a physical focus of some sort.
However, when you forget that you're here to bring into physicality non-physicality, but you think that you're meant to bring physicality into non-physicality, which is not how you think about it, but that simply means, that translates as, oh, I believe that what is happening out there should indicate how I should feel non-physically. The physical determines how I should feel non-physically. It's the other way around. When you forget that, again, nothing wrong with the physical focus, but it just has to come from the right direction. It has to come from the direction of manifestation, not receptivity. Receptivity, or the lack thereof, does not mean that you're not receptive, does not mean you're not sensitive, does not mean you're not intuitive, does not mean you never tune into things, or people, or probabilities, or timelines, or however subtle you want to take this. Doesn't mean you never listen. Doesn't mean that you only ever just project your own nonsense onto things. It simply means that you get out of the mindset of circumstances should determine how I should feel about myself and what I should act on and how I should take action next and what I should think next. When we take our cue from the circumstances, from the physical, we lose our sense of non-physical connection. And that's the worst space to be in. It's what we call being human. We don't want that. We don't want to be human. It sucks to be human. Yep. It sucks. Big ass, hard time, sucky, sucky. Okay. <laughs> what, whatever that means. It means to be human.